So we're going to explore together what freedom of expression in international law really means. Everyone shall have the right to freedom of expression. This right shall include freedom to seek, receive and impart information and ideas of all kinds, regardless of frontiers, through any media of their choice. The exercise of these rights carries with it special duties and responsibilities. Everyone shall have the right. Freedom of expression belongs to everyone. No discrimination should be made based on nationality, gender, genetic features, ethnic or social origin, religion, language, political opinion, property, disability, age, sexual orientation or any other status. We can all seek, receive and impart. This freedom applies not only to that which you express yourself, but also to the information, opinions and ideas you choose to gather from other sources. These sources come in many forms, but all may express themselves freely. Information and ideas of all kinds. Expression also refers to opinion, however controversial or potentially offensive to a public figure. Only when an idea or opinion incites hatred or violence can it be restricted. Regardless of frontiers. The right to freedom of expression is not limited by national boundaries. States must recognize this right regardless of borders. Through any media. People may express themselves in many different ways, including print, visual arts, theatre, film, dance and music. All are protected by the rights to freedom of expression. Special duties and responsibilities. Some restrictions are allowed under international law, though censorship can only be authorised in very exceptional cases, subject to a fair hearing. States must respect, protect and fulfil the right to free expression by not interfering with it, as well as taking active steps to ensure people can enjoy this right. For example, minorities must be able to express themselves in their native tongue and participate in politics and services provided to others. The media must not be monopolised by states or private companies with vested interests.